What is going on guys? Hope you're having a good one. A couple weeks ago when I did that photo walk video, I took out my Olympus XA2, which is a 35 millimeter film point and shoot and went around and did the photo walks. And I've been taking a lot of photos with it lately, especially during this whole quarantine. I've been getting really into film photography. And so one thing that I've never have done was take portraits with it. And so that's what I did. Um, probably over a month ago now. Uh, I took some portraits of my sister just in the front room of our house uh, during kind of like that golden hour. The lighting was really nice and nice and even, so I'm super happy with how they turned out. So those were all the photos and I just wanted to share some thoughts about how they turned out and whatnot. Um, I thought they were really, really cool. I didn't know how they were gonna turn out, but I think they turned out really awesome. Um, I love the contrast between how dark the background was and how like um, lit up, I guess, my sister's face was. The lighting was a little bit harsh, so it did kind of bring down the highlights um, in post but I don't think that's too big of a deal to just slightly adjust film photos. And I think my two favorites definitely have to be the ones where it's more close up of her face. I think those just, I don't know, those just look like little film photos that you would see on Instagram. Um, and then I think my ultimate favorite one is the reflection um, with her eyes in the vinyl. I wanted to get a photo of her taking a vinyl out of the sleeve and then Monique actually pointed out, she's like, oh, look at the reflection. And then I went kind of behind her and was like, oh crap, that's sick. And snap this photo here. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a light leak or there is a light leak. I just hope it's not from my camera. Hopefully it was just in the development phase, but it does kind of give it a little extra 
something to the photo and it, it kind of looks cool. I'm not too mad about it. And one other thing that I noticed is I've obviously been shooting a lot of film lately and kind of have been since last September, um, but watching back the footage and the uh, time lapse of me taking these photos, I realized how much time I was taking for each photo. I only had about half a roll left in this, so um, about 10 to 15 photos. I think I got about 12 in the end. Um, so I was being really meticulous with each shot and waiting to uh, get the right composition. And I was like literally standing in one spot for like 30 seconds, trying to move things around and get the exact composition that I wanted. I found that I've never really been that meticulous with anything that I've ever photographed, moving different things around, like objects in the photo, making sure everything is exactly how I want it before snapping that photo. And of course, with film and me only having like that half a roll left, it was a very finite amount of shots that I was going to have. So that's something that I found interesting, just kind of looking back on the footage. Um, but these photos were of my sister, so why don't we get her opinion? Hey, Monique! Come here! I asked her ahead of time before recording this if she would be in the video and just kind of give her two cents on the photos and she said no, but thought I'd give it another try anyways. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna be making a video once a week now. Um, I just gotta do that plan and execute on it. So if you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe if you wanna see more and see some of the next videos committed to doing one video a week from now. All right, see you in the next one. Peace.